We thank you this morning, Holy Spirit. We invite your precious presence. We adore you. We praise your name. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Thou art welcome. Thou art welcome in this prayer. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this praise. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this praise. and welcome the Holy Spirit this morning. We welcome you Holy Spirit this morning. We invite your presence in this place. We invite your presence in this place Holy Spirit. We invite your presence in this place. Holy Spirit welcome in this place. Welcome in this place Holy Spirit. We invite your presence. We invite your presence. We invite your presence. We invite your presence, Holy Spirit, in this place. Holy Spirit, how and where? Thank you. 
Thank you, Lord, for your steady first love. And thy mercies are the regularly forever. Thy mercies are new this morning, God, to us. Lord, we stand before your throne, not on the account of our good deeds of our Father, not on the account of our faithfulness, oh my God. For these are just like filthy rags before you, on the account of our mercies, on the, on the account of your mercies alone, on the account of your mercies alone, we stand before you, God. Oh, Jesus, we thank you. We thank you today, God. Reign, Jesus. Reign, Jesus. Thank you, Father God. We bless you and magnify your name, O Jehovah God, this morning. We thank you for your presence in this place. And we thank you, Lord, for accepting my God to be entreated of us, oh my God. For accepting my God, Jehovah God, to be enthroned in the, in the midst of our places this morning. Thank you, Master King of Glory, that you have accepted our person, my God, the way we are. Be magnified, oh God. Be adored today, my God. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Savior, Lord, we pray. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jehovah God. Thank you, Father. Amen. 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 Look at somebody, tell him, Oh, it is well. Say it excitedly, it is well. It is well with your soul. It's well with your family. It's well with your life. Because the word of the Lord says so. Hallelujah. Amen. We can have our seats in the presence of the Lord. God bless you for coming to our Sunday service today. Praise Him. God bless you. God bless you. You wonder people. We are blessed to have you around and for your leadership to worship God have you seats in the presence of God Matthew 13 from verse 1 on the same day we are reading on the same day Jesus went out of the house and said by the sea and great multitudes were gathered together to him, so that he got into a boat and said, And the whole multitude stood on the soul. Then he spoke many things to them in parables, saying, Behold, a sower went out to sow. And as he sowed, some seed fell by the wayside, and the birds came and devoured them. Some fell on stony places, where they did not have much earth, and they immediately sprang up because they had no depth of earth. But when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up and choked them. But others fell on good ground and yielded a crop, some a hundredfold, some sixty, and some thirty. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Amen. That is the word of the Lord for today. That the word we are going to look in today. A few uh, Sundays ago, the last time I, I preached there, I said, as born again, uh, believers and children of God we are expected to bear fruits amen we are expected to bear fruit and not just to bear fruit 
but fruit that will last. A fruit that will glorify God. Hallelujah. Every one of us, not just a few of us, not some of us, not people who stand on the pulpit, not the preachers, not the worship team, not the elders, but everyone who confesses Jesus Christ is expected to bear fruit. Amen. Because at the end of the day, you will show forth the, the fruit that you have given forth to, whether it is uh, spiritual or carnal. Hallelujah. We began that message somewhere down in uh, First Corinthians chapter 3 when we said we are also builders who are expected to be building upon a foundation that has been laid and no man can lay another foundation. And when we are standing upon that foundation, that is the same place we are expected to be giving for the fruit uh, uh, from. And uh, of course, from that time, uh, many messages have come, and our pastor has uh, spoken uh, very much about holiness, without which no man will see God. Hallelujah. And you know, uh, without that holiness, you cannot also bear fruit. You, without that holiness, you cannot be a builder. Praise the Lord. Without that holiness, you cannot be what we are about to say today. Hallelujah. Today we are looking at this, this parable of Jesus Christ. You know, as I was looking, uh, as I lead in the, through the Bible, uh, in the Gospels of Jesus Christ, and uh, there are four of them, of course, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. But uh, the parables are most found in the Synoptic Gospels. That is Matthew, Mark, and Luke. Sometimes you see all three of them have the same parables. They repeat just the same parables. And among these parables, there are parables that, are called, that Jesus uh, likens with the kingdom of heaven. Not all of them that are likened with the uh, kingdom of heaven. Some are teachings that they are teaching us. Yeah? They, are, they, are, they are teaching us some truth. They are, they are speaking to a, a group of people. Yeah? But there are specific ones that he is saying, what do I liken the kingdom of heaven with? Hallelujah. And uh, as I was going through, looking, trying to search for these uh, parables that, uh, that, uh, that are equated with the kingdom of heaven, I, I, find, I found 11 or 12 of them in the book of Matthew. In the book of Matthew, uh, there are, uh, are two of the, they are, they are allowed for uh, 11 of them. And in the book of Mark, there is one. One of the The same parables are also repeated in, 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 a, in Luke. But when we, when we look at them, in Matthew, we find they are, they are allowed 11 of them. In Matthew chapter 13 alone, we have seven of them. Wana sifuwe. Ambazo wanasema, ufalme wa mungu unafanana. Ufalme wa mungu ni kama. Ufalme wa mungu ni kama mtu. Ambaye alikuwa anatafuta. Eh? Some treasure. Ufalme wa mungu is like a man who found a, 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 a pile of great value. Praise the Lord. Ufalme wa mungu ume, ime repitiwa hiyo mara saba in chapter 13 alone. And then you will find another one in chapter 20. From verse 1. In chapter 22, from verse 1, the banquet of the wedding. In chapter 25, verse 1 up to 14, there is one of the virgins. In uh, the same chapter 25, from verse 15, we have uh, the hiring, the, 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 the talents, the, the master who gave the talents to his servants so that they could go and trade. 
And then you find another one in Mark chapter 4. We have 12 of those parables that Jesus is saying, the kingdom of heaven is likened to. Hallelujah. So you can go out and look for them and study them carefully. That ambazos in Asema, Ufarmi wa Mungu unafanana. All the parables in the, in the Gospels are around maybe 41, but some put it at 46 because there are some, some things. Of course, some people classify, some scholars classify as parables, why they are not parables, of course, and others do not consider them to, like, uh, as though they are parables. They, they consider them as wise sayings uh, of some wisdom. But these parables speak to us. At that time, Jesus was speaking to them in that Matthew chapter 13, verse, uh, that, that first parable. Then disciples asked him, why do you speak to these people within parables? And Jesus told them, it is because uh, they, disciples, are able, they have the power to understand what the parable stands for. But it is head to that, to the multitude. It's a message that is said to the multitude. He speaks to them in, in parables so that they may have the urge to go and search what is, that, what is that Jesus is saying. So that they may go to him and ask, what do you mean by that parable? But of course, there is nobody who is, uh, who is bothered by wanting to, to know what that parable means. <coughs> That's why Jesus says, it is given to you. Wewe ambayo umeokoka. It is given to you to understand the parable of the kingdom. Hallelujah. Why? Because you have the Holy Spirit. It is, the parable is meant for you to open your eyes, to give you understanding. Hallelujah. To give you direction hmm, so that you may live in, according, in accordance to the, to the expectations of the people of this kingdom. And therefore, this time Jesus was speaking this, this parable and he, that sometimes it's, it, we always we see it called be, uh, the, 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 the parable of the sower but sometimes it is called more the parable of the soil. Mana, the, the focus, more focus on this parable is on the soil. Hallelujah. The focus here is on the soil. The quality of the soil. The type of the soil. Yeah. Jesus and ameongea ameangazia juu ya aina nne za mchanga ya za udongo ambazo anazungumzia mahali hapa eh? ambapo anasema mpanzi alienda kupanda and he scattered the seeds you know in uh, in the Jewish Jewish land in those days the mode of planting was scattering before and then uh, a man will come with a plow to cover the seeds <coughs> And therefore, this man has gone out and he has scattered his seeds and uh, the plowman has come and covered them. But he, Jesus, Jesus highlights three types, four types of soils. And Anasema, uh, ya kwanza ni the pathway soil. I, I remember the, the, a couple of years ago, I, I spoke about uh, this parable, maybe five or so years ago. The pathway. The path with soil. Mchanga, eh, mahari pana fananisho na barabara, mahari pakavu. Ambapo anasema kuna mbegu ziliyanguka pale. Kuna mbegu ambazo ziliyanguka katika njia na wakati mwenye ku, kufunika na plow na 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 na, na, na uh, ili la plow alikuwa anafanya hiyo kazi zile hazikufunikwa. In any case, along the path ni kusema hata hizo mbegu hazikungojea na uh, uh, mwenye ku uh, ku, ku, ku skata, eh? What is scattering in Swahili here? Ku? Kutawanya. Maybe. Mwenye kutawanya. Let's let's assume so, but I think there is a better word. Mwenye kutawanya. <laughs> Wacha tuseme mpanzi wa mbegu. Huyu mpanzi tuseme zile zilianguka kwa barabara hata hazikungojea 
Azi kukaa pale amalize kutawanya katika ile shamba lile shamba lote. Kwa nini? Because they are in the open and birds of the are around. They are flying all over. Even the squirrels were around and you know they love mahindi. And I I believe some rats were around also. They loved also maize. Yeah? So they could not take any longer uh, uh, in that uh, they could not stay any long uh, in, along the pathway before they were taken up uh, by the predators that were waiting for them. And Jesus says immediately they were taken up by the birds and they were eaten the seeds. Hallelujah. The seeds. The seed is not actually the problem. Neither is the mpanzi. The seed are okay. The Bible says he planted choice seeds. Does the Isaiah say that? We read that in Isaiah the other time, isn't it? We read that mwenye shamba alipanda mbegu zilizokuwa nzuri. Hallelujah. In fact, you should not look at this parable. Ufikiria ni tofauti na ile tulisoma kwa Isaiah. It is just the same. Mpanzi ni yule yule mwenye shamba ni yule yule in 1 Corinthians chapter 3 verse 9 the bible says we are God's field we are his husbandry bana pewe sifa sisi ni shamba la la Mungu yeye ndiye mwenye kuliangalia yeye ndiye mpanzi mahali hapa katika hii parable mpanzi wa mbegu the person who is scattering the seeds is God himself hallelujah he is scattering the word, the, the seed in the world, the field that is the word. He is scattering the word. Hallelujah. You know, he is scattering the seed. And uh, we, 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 we see that the seed is the word of God. And you know, the word of God is Jesus Christ. So, in other words, the seed that we are talking about is Jesus Christ. Jesus himself said, unless a seed, a seed of wheat, unless a kernel of wheat falls down and dies in John chapter 12 verse 24, it remains alone. But when it falls down and dies, it gives forth many other seeds. Hallelujah. There is a seed that is able to impact the life. There is a seed that can transform the life. There is a seed that can give forth much fruit. And that seed is Jesus Christ that is being scattered in the world. That's why the Bible says, For so God loved the world that he gave his begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish. The seed is being scattered to whoever. Hallelujah. To whoever. Not to a specific class of people, not to the Jews, not to the Germans, not to the Africans, but to whoever in the world. Hallelujah. To whoever that will, the seed is being scattered. And the scatterer of the seed, Mpanzi, Mwenyewe ni Mungu, he is the one. The Bible says he gave, he gave the seed. Does the Bible say he gives the seed to the sower and the bread to the eater? Yes, he is the one scattering. Of course, it is an interpretation that is not, it has not been heard. I don't know, because I have not heard it spoken that way. So some of you are questioning, how can Jesus be scattered? Jesus is the seed. Hallelujah. He fell down to the ground and he died as a seed. So that he may terminate, praise the Lord, and give forth many seeds whereby you are one of those that were, have been given forth or given birth by that word that was scattered, that was scattered and has been scattered continually by God. Hallelujah. But the only problem is not with the, the one who is planting, the owner of the field. It is not with the seed itself, but the problem and not even the weather. It is not even with the environment, but the problem is the soil. Hallelujah. The focus of the parable is the soil. That's why Jesus says, take care how you hear. Not even what you hear. How you hear. People hear and hear differently. The other day I sat down and I was wondering, you know, every time uh, there is a marriage, in, uh, there is a problem in marriage, the counselor says, you know, I, I, I think there is a communication breakdown. 
Or when he listens to people, he says there is a communication breakdown. It's that you are not communicating. But let me tell you, it's not really about communication. It's about how you perceive the communication. Maana mtu anaongea na mwingine anasikia vingi. Vingine. That is a problem of perception, not communicating. Bwana apewe sifa. Now, the problem is how people hear, how people, how do they perceive, how do they understand? Maana watu wanasikia hawaelewi, watu wanasikia they don't take time to reveal, to meditate, to look into what they have heard. People hear always, but they never perceive. The problem, the greatest problem with us is the perception. How do we perceive what is being spoken? How are you even perceiving what I'm saying now? How do you perceive it? You cannot, if you don't get something, you don't just go out and say, I never preach. I preach. But the problem is, how did you understand it? Hallelujah. Now, the Bible is talking, well, the first type of soil is that pathway. Maari pakabu. Na si kusema hii maari ambapo ni pakabu. Kwa maana, watu wamepitia pare. You know, in big farms, eh? in big farms, there are some parts, some parts within the, 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 the field where people can cross through. Yeah? And uh, of course, mana zinaspleiwa na tractor. Tractor inaweza kupitia pale. So, along these parts, they are very dry. Hata kama shamba inanyunyiziwa maji kila wakati. Hata kama maga, hata kama mvua um, itakuwa imenyesha. Mahali pale kwa maana pamekanyangwa kila wakati, panakuanga, pamekauka. Na hakuna kitu kinaweza kumea pale, maana panakanyangwa all the time. That is the kind, the first type of a soil that Jesus talks about. And of course Jesus himself gave an interpretation. Na akasema huyu ni moyo, huyu ni moyo. Hiyo shamba ya aina ile ni moyo wa mtu. Yeah? The soil we are talking about is not the ground. It is actually the conditions of our hearts. Mioyo yetu iko namna gani? It is the situation. It is the state. How is our heart? Ni kile ambacho kinazuia sisi kuelewa neno la Mungu ili lile neno la Mungu tukilielewa na kulifahamu tulizalishe na liweze kutoa matunda ni kwa maana tunakosa kulielewa kwa maana mioyo yetu iko katika hali ya aina fulani ambayo inaizuilia kulishika lile neno na kulielewa Haleluya and where as long as we don't understand the word, the word becomes of no avail to us. The word is unfruitful. It never germinates. Hallelujah. Mari kwanjia hiyo mbegu wata ikinyeshe wapare haita haita mea hata ispokuliwa na ndege na mchungaleli na panya hata kama hawa hawa wata bidia pale waikule ni kusema hiyo mbegu haita mea mari pale. Hallelujah. Kwa maana, hata wakati kuna nyesha, tunakanyanga. Labda hata itabewa na, na miguu ya watu na ipelekwe mbali. Kutoka maari ambapo ilianguka. Hallelujah. Kwa hivyo, there is nothing. You don't want to think that hii barabara ambao tunapitia kila wakati, ikiachwa kupitiwa, una, usifikiria tia itamea nyasi. Itamea nyasi. Lakini kwa sasa maana hata wakati tuna, kuna nyesha Hata wakati kuna mafriko tunapitia pare Nothing can grow there Hallelujah Watu wamefanya mioyo yao kuwa a highway Where there is a lot of traffic Hallelujah A lot of traffic yeah? They hear the word of God And they just go away ignorantly they go away insolently they go away complaining man kwa nini huyu mtu ameongea namna hii bona ahubiri mahubiri ya namna hiyo because their hearts are hardened they are suffocated with the things of this word they cannot understand the word of god and therefore there is nothing that good that can come out of it there is nothing good that 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 of course can be allowed to germinate in that kind of a heart maana hata ikimwagiwa maji na ama iwekwe ndani ya maji nothing will happen it is hardened hallelujah moyo uliokauka na unajua mioyo ya watu inakaushwa na mambo mingi sana hearts are dried because of bitterness 
watu wako mbita bitter with others yeah and forgiveness watu wanakaa mioyo imekauka na ni migumu kabisa hata kama wataambiwa namna gani they are just like that kanjia kana opitiwa kama kauka kama mawe watu wa Mungu we need to evaluate the state of our hearts in the days that we are living in in times that we are living in we need to to take a a a, a, a time and call ourselves for a meeting and interrogate ourselves properly and look into the condition of our hearts mioyo yetu iko namna gani Mm, hiyo mioyo ambayo tuko nayo iko namna gani? Are we have we the capacity to understand? <coughs> Maana pasipo kuelewa itakuwa vigumu sana. Eh? Yeso um, uh, Osea akaambia Wayahudi do not uh, plant uh, uh, on the furrow ground but break that furrow ground. Tell the ground, break the crops so that you are able to plant. Jeremiah chapter 4 verse 3. Inasema do not plant among the thorns but break the furrow ground. Hiyo ground ambayo imekauka, ambayo imekanyongwa na wanyama ikawa ngumu ambapo hakuna kitu kinaweza kumea. Don't just plant there just like that. Break the furrow ground. Hallelujah. Jesus continued. That is one type of a soil huo ni udongo wa aina fulani na udongo ni moyo wako kwa hivyo hiyo ni moyo wako ni moyo wangu ni moyo wa mtu mwingine uko na hiyo umekauka na hata <coughs> hata maji hata mvua ikinyesha it's like it never rained nothing happens and then he said there is another type of a soil number two type of a soil uh, this type of a soil Jesus said it is the rocky soil the rocky soil you know there are some places within the shamba that could be rocky but sometimes we may not know that they are rocky kwa maana tukiangalia juu kuna kaudongo kako pale the fact that when it rained seeds germinated means that there is a thin layer of soil bwana asifiwe a thin layer of soil mahali ambapo mumea unaweza kumea lakini kwa sababu ule udongo uko pale ni mchache sana it's a very thin layer <coughs> um, mizizi haina mahali ya kwenda chini wakati jua linawaka ile maji ambayo ilipokelewa pale ina evaporate very fast aikai and so what happens is that with the time with a, within a, a short time uh, ile mimea ambayo ilimea pale it will begin to wither haleluya itaanza kukauka itakaushwa na jua kwa maana udongo hauko pale wa kutosha udongo uli, sio kwamba ule udongo ulikuwa mbaya haukuwa mbaya but the thing is the soil is not enough haleluya the soil is not enough mchanga ni mchache sana mizizi haina mahali ya kwenda haina mahali ya kuvuta maji from because the soil is very little some of us have hearts like that haleluya hiyo ni kusema kwamba watu wengine wanapokea neno Yesu akasema wanapokea neno wakiwa na furaha wanalipokea na furaha wanalikubali na furaha na wanaendelea kwa muda mfupi lakini majaribu yanapoingia shida za maisha zikiwakumba mambo ambayo ni mazito yakikuja they just give up they just backslide they pull out why kwa maana shida zimekuja temptations tribulations have come na kwa hivyo maana hakuna nguga, hakuna udongo wa kusikilia hakuna hakuna mahali ile mizizi mizizi haijaingia chini wale watu wanaondoka haraka sana mioyo ingine iko namna hiyo watu wameokoka in fact wale wanaendanga mission wanajua hivyo na hata wakati unaenda out uko nje kuhubiri watu wanajua hivyo that kuna watu wanasikia neno wakilia sana <clears throat> na wanalia kabisa na wanapiga magoti pale wanaombewa 
Na baada ya wiki mbili tatu mwezi moja unajaribu kutafuta watu wale watu wawezi kuwaona tena walipokea neno ni kweli na walilipokea kwa furaha walipokea neno wakilia lakini kwa muda mfupi mambo ikaanza kuwakumba the reality of life began to dawn nimeokoka na nilikuwa nauza mwili wangu nipate pesa so where do i get money from nimeokoka na pesa yangu nilikuwa napata kwa njia fulani sasa nitalipa nyumba na nini Watu pole pole wanarudi kule waliku Wanarudi because that is where their resources are they are not seeing the goodness of God they have they have no capacity to understand the ways of God they have no capacity to embrace the love of God in their lives and to know that they have a God they have come to a God who is Jehovah Jireh he can he is able to provide all their needs they have no understanding maana udongo ulikuwa mchache yani they have no capacity to retain the word of God in their hearts they have no resilience in their life Eh, kwamba majaribu yamekuja na tutaendelea kusimama they, are, they have no patience eh, kwa maana they have no a ground the, the seeds have no root maana wao hawa, hawana you know they have no time for the things that will cause them it will cause that soil to be turned to be tilled the cloth to be broken down hallelujah maana mchanga unaweza kuwa pale mwingi unaweza kuongezeka pale the rock the rock that is in that earth can be changed into soil by the power of god and this power of god can only come because of the holy spirit because of the word of god because of the fellowship because of the devotion lakini watu hawako na haja na yale mambo na hiyo ndio sababu majaribu yakikuja watu wanaondoka haraka jua jua Ati wakati jua liliangaza mimea ilinyauka na jua ni majaribu shida mateso mambo mengi yale tunakumbana nayo maishani yanafanya imani yetu ididimia haraka sana yanafanya imani yetu I, ikauke eh? hata kama tulikuwa tuna tunataka kuendelea tunakuta hatuendelei you know sometimes People may not just pull away per se and say they are no longer Christians, they are no longer born again. But you know, people can remain uh, in the church for a long time and the only thing they know is bona asifiwe. Nimeokoka. Hallelujah. That is the path they have gone for four years, five years, even ten years. Others are there even for twenty uh, years. And they don't know anything else beyond bona asifiwe. Hiyo ndiyo mwisho wa wokovu wao. Hallelujah. Why? Because they have no ground. They have no ground to retain the word of God. Hawana wakati wa wa kujua Mungu vizuri. Hawana wakati wa kujielewa njia za Mungu vizuri. So hata kama wamekaa hiyo miaka yote na bando wanasema bwana asifiwe, they are still the rocky ground soil. Hallelujah. Mio yao haina haina uh, depth to hold anything yeah maana they never take time they never commit themselves hallelujah commitment inakosa kwa maisha ya watu siku za leo praise the lord commitment to the things of god is no longer there commitment to pursue the will of god in your life commitment to the to the to the to, to, to the uh, an intimate life with god commitment to devotions commitment to study the word of god it is not there people have no time mtu anasoma biblia na anasikiza simu sometimes i look and i get uh, surprised kwamba mtu anaomba mtu anaomba na unafikiria anaomba unamwangalia unaona kama kama he is really very inside prayer eh lakini simu imelia If I bleed it dogo if I bleed it mechomolewa Na mtu alikuwa anaomba You wonder huyo mtu alikuwa anaomba kweli Eh senses zake ziko kwa maombi ziko kwa Mungu ama ziko kwa simu Yeah We have a problem brethren Today we have an idol called phone 
And let me tell you, let me tell you, friends, you cannot say you are not a victim. You cannot say you are not a victim. Hata sahi, ikivibrate ikiwa kwa kibeti, utaona mkono ukienda uko automatically. Actually, hata you don't think about that. You don't think about that. It just goes there automatically. Eh? Our hearts have been carried away by so many things. Eh? Zimefanya ayo mambo mingi, imefanya mio yetu ikakauka. Ikakosa kuwa na shauku na mambo ya mungu. Ikakosa ratha ya mambo ya mungu. Diyo sababu, we think when we come on, here on, on, on Sunday alone, it is just enough. But let me tell you friends, Sunday alone is not enough for a Christian who is going to heaven. Hallelujah. Sunday alone is not enough for a serious Christian. Sunday na, uh, uh, alone is not enough for a Christian who desires to give for the fruit. Sunday is not enough for somebody who wants to cultivate a real good intimacy with, uh, intimacy with God. No, it is not. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. It is not enough. We have been carried away by our jobs. We have been carried away by our businesses. We have been carried away by our wives. We think more about our wives more than we think about God. We think more about girlfriends and boyfriends more than we think about God. Let me tell you, friends, if you, if you think uh, about God even a quarter time, uh, or, or a time that you use thinking about the girlfriend and the boyfriend, <laughs> you will go very far away. Ta quarter of that time quarter of that time if you just take a quarter of that time to be with god eh, that time that you you have with your phone things will be better for you but you know because people are too lazy with the things of god they wait for a great preacher to come and declare some blessings upon them there is nothing like it, blessings that are declared where are they from I say by the end of this year you are going to be a millionaire from where? From your kitchen or from your where? Are they expected to fall from, uh, from heaven and, and just you find them there? Even they that are millionaires never made a million in a month. Hallelujah. They work the continuous very bad to make that million. Very bad. Now we are declare that this year you are going to get married. You even don't want to, under, to ask yourself, why are you not even married? Why are you not even married? You don't even want to, to go deep and look into the underlying issues. Eh? Maybe ukiolewa, ukiolewa utachukiza uyo mume, paka apate in depression. So God is not careful to give you a man. And you want, you want a declaration. God is saying that this year is not going to end. Before you get married, you find a wife or a husband. Yeah? It will never work like that. Take time with God. God is more interested with your intimacy more than you getting married. More than you getting rich. More than you driving a car. Kia wakati watu wanasumbuka na gari, anaendesha gari gani? Kwani gari ni nini? Zinaanguka na watu wanakufa. And you are thinking gari. Tuko nazo zinatusumbua. You think sometimes wacha ikae kwa nyumba maana hiyo pesa inakunywa mafuta ungalinunua maziwa. And you think it's is 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 just a, a <laughs> there is nothing like that, brethren. But let me tell you, God requires our attention. Hallelujah. He is calling us to our closet to have time with Him. He is looking for men and women who will be builders of the wall, who are going to repair the breaches of generations. But they are not there because they are too busy. They are carried away by cares and worries of this world. They are carried away by things of this life. Every now and then, you are, you are thinking about what are we going to eat this supper? 
<laughs> Every now and then you are wondering about the land road if you are like me. The land road is about to come. Serious. God deliver us from this syndrome of land road. Hallelujah. And the issue of the land road, ukisikia land road, ameonekana akibitia kule, ata maombi yo siku imeisha. Imeisha, imeisha. Kama itaombwa ni mungu, deliver me from the land road. Hmm? It is serious, brethren. If only, if only we could have time with God. If only we could take time and, and, and reason with him. If only we could take time and, uh, and, and, and study his word and have devotions. Eh? I, I believe our lives would be better. Hallelujah. But because we are too careful, we are too carried away by issues. Eh? That's why we are always suffering. That's why our things are always going wrong. That's why we pray and we never get. Because God is not really very much uh, careful about what you say, what you, are, what you need, what you want, but you. Hallelujah. God needs you. He needs me. Not about my preaching. He needs me. Before I can preach, do I have a relationship with him? My preaching cannot change me. Hallelujah. I may preach here, but I go out a dry man. I may preach and jump, but I go out a, 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 a very better person. I may preach and do much great things. I may also pray for people. And because God is a God of mercy, miracles will happen. But I go out with nothing of that. Hallelujah. God needs me. He needs my attention. He needs my, my relationship with him. So, we need to go to God so that our soil that is so shallow, it has a shallow layer. Maana kuwa broken. And then we can have more soil. More soil that is arable. Eh, a land that is arable within us, where he can plant his vines, where he can plant his seeds, and they can give forth fruit. Hallelujah. <coughs> Jesus went on and said, There are others, there are others that uh, fell among thorns. You know, these seeds that are falling among thorns. The question of soil is not so much. Sio kwamba mchanga pare ni mbaya. Bwana apewe sifa. Sio kwamba mchanga ni mbaya. Maana hata that bush that is there is eating from that soil. It has roots and roots are going down. Yeah? That thicket where those seeds are foreign. The Bible says they also germinated. Hallelujah. They germinated and they continued to grow. Yeah? But Somewhere, the bush could not allow them. The thickets, the zones that were around them, the, the tendrils of some plants there, of some weeds there, began recoiling around the wheat. They began recoiling around the maize. And sooner than not, the maize could not continue growing. It had no enough oxygen. It had nothing enough. It had no nutrients. Hallelujah. So help me that. Eh, the soil had nutrients, but the nutrients within that soil, they are being eaten by the thickets and the dawns that are there. Sio mchanga huku amba mzuri, but mchanga wa uja katevichua. Hallelujah. Vichaka avikukatwa, vichomwe, mchanga uchimbwe, uchimbuliwe kabisa. Eh, u, 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 u find a harrowing iliwe mororo so that the seeds can, can find somewhere to grow where, where the soil is soft where the soil is uh, well highlighted where the soil is uh, well watered where the soil has got uh, nutrients which these plants are going to eat hallelujah some hearts are like that brethren miyo yengine iko kama vichaka Vichaka. 
ukikaa karibu na huyo moyo eh badala ya utoke pale ukiwa umeinuliwa unatoka ukiwa discouraged he siku hizi hata ni kama Mungu asikie yangi maombi hmm. mambo yamekuwa mazito ah sijui tutafanya nini Yan, that is the language of the wicked heart mioyo ya udongo ambao umemmea vichuki na, na michongoma na miiba ya yeah? Yaani when you are there you are pierced. When you are around them you get pierced. Unadungwa dungwa. Eh? Majani ya hiyo mimea inalaluliwa. Eh? Inalaluliwa. Ma- Badala ya jani liwe kamili lote limelaluliwa hapa na pale kwa maana mi- miba inailalua. It cannot go on. Hallelujah. This this are a very serious kind of soil. Maana the soil is good. Yeah? Hata kama mchanga pale unaweza kuwa mzuri hata kama unaweza kuwa na rotuba kuna mimea inazuilia one time many years ago eh, i was walking along the road and uh, i reached somewhere where there was a shamba cultivated and the shamba was planted with the potatoes and the spirit of god told me to stop and look into that uh, 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 that shamba and then i stopped and looked at the shamba and uh, the potatoes were there But there were a lot of weeds in this garden. There were so many weeds that hata kama viazi ziko pale na viazi zingalikuwa mzuri sana, viazi zimekonda. Majani yake yamekuwa mebamba sana. Kwa nini? Kwa maana majani magugu yale yako pale yanakula rotuba ile ingakuliwa na hii na, na, na hizi viazi. Unaangalia, you know what baffles me ni kwamba magugu inakuwa manono kuliko kile umepanda. Bwana asifiwe. Sijui kama wewe umewahi kuwa na shamba ama ukaona shamba mahali ikiwa na magugu. Magugu yakiwa pale yanakuwa mazuri, yananona, yananenepa. Lakini kile umepanda kinaendelea kukonda, kukonda tu kinakuwa hata rangi kinakuwa chekundu. The other day I was in Akuru and uh, our our sister Mama Esther Uh, took me to a shamba and as you we are going to that shamba opposite there is another shamba planted with maize na kile kilinishangaza ni kwamba ile mahindi ilikuwa inakaa kama hii what do you call this <laughs> eh this shield yellow mahindi hiyo ilikuwa kwa hiyo shamba ilikuwa hivyo ilikuwa inatoshana hivi mahindi zile ziko kwa shamba nyingine ziko namna hii very green very good very very healthy bwana asifiwe they were in the same environment the same locality sio kwamba hii iko hapa na nyingine iko mayo sawe no they are in the same locality the same place the same neighborhood vua ile inanyesha kwa hii shamba ndio inanyesha kwa ile lingine yeah you expect of course kama the soil here is acarenity hata hii pale ina style kuwa acarenity kwa maana they are in the same locality but ukiangalia hapa kuna tofauti na ile shamba why that shamba is taken care of kama kulikuwa na lime lime ilimwagwa so that we can neutralize the acidity of the soil iwe acarenity so that we can optimum ph so that mimea can do good hallelujah imewekwa labda manua ya ngombe baada ya hiyo labda wengine wameweka kitu kingine kinaitwa mizingu wale si wakulima wajui mizingu ni nini na hata hivyo si wakulima wengi wanajua mizingu haleluya wengine wamemwaga makaa makaa watu wanashangaa makaa ni nini makaa hiyo umbuzea makaa ukimwaga kwa shamba you are making your soil to be to be able eh, to contain more oxygen more nitrogen yani spaces za hewa eh inakuwa pana na kuweza kuretain maji bwana asifiwe lakini huyu haku he was not careful yeye alipanda tu hakujali shamba yake iko namna gani hakujali iko acidic or acarenity hakujali hayo mambo alipanda and so the expectation is not there maana 
Wakati alipanda alitarajia kuvuna kama yule mwingine ambaye amepanda hapa na akaifanyia kazi nyingi, akaiweka mborea, akaiweka manyua, akaishimbulia, akaifanya mambo ndio iweze uh, kutoa mahindi mzuri lakini yeye alienda akapanda tu. Sama like that. They just come to church because Sunday came. Hallelujah. They just come to Sunday because Sunday came. And immediately they sit down after worship, praise and worship in Mamariza. Immediately, yeah, yeah, macho in Mefunga. He has muted off. He has muted off. Hallelujah. Na Natarajia, the impact of the service. Eh, the impact of that service is going to be upon him just like that somebody who was attentive and alert. No. Usikuje hapa kulala, lala kwa kitanda. Bana asifiwe. Lala nyumbani ile sande utaamuka ukiwa umepumzika utaku utakuja. Praise the Lord. This is a place for for, for serious seekers of God seeking the things of the kingdom you don't come here to see yule mwingine alikuwa anavaa nini eh uangalie nywele yake ilikuwa namna gani ilichanuliwa ama haijachanuliwa alikuwa alikuja na barakoa ama hajakuja nayo yake inaonekana imefuliwa mara ngapi mind that business in your home hallelujah but come here to hear the word of God, come here to, 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 to be fed with that word, come here to worship God, come here that God may touch your life, may transform you. Hallelujah. You don't just come and expect the result. Someone na yule ambaye alikuwa serious pare. Ah, mtatoka kwa ibada moja, lakini wengine watatoka kama mgikebe ishio na kitu. Wengine watatoka wakiwa wamejaa. Wataendelea kumeditate on that word throughout the week. Wataendelea kutoa ushuhuda wa lile neno walisikia. Lile neno nilisikia Sunday lilikuwa namna hii. Lile neno nilisikia Sunday hili nisaidia mahali hapa. Kwa maana mtu alikuwa ame attend, alikuwa attentive, alikuwa alert. Hallelujah. Mwingine atakuwa anashangaa na kulisoma wapi. We are all in the same service. Hallelujah. Brethren, we need to work on our hearts we need to work on our hearts we need to pull out those decades yeah decades za masengenyo Woo. masengenyo masengenyo it is like kreata watu wa wawili wakitoka pale watasimama pale kulizana juu ya mtu mwingine mtu yako pale wataulizana juu yake eh badala ya waende wakamuulize hiyo ndio inaitwa masengenyo Nayo is one of the decades the zone that you need to be pulled out of your heart. Hallelujah. Watu wana mishongoma ya aina nyingi ndani ya mioyo yao. Eh, hasira. Yesu akasema thorns are the cares, the pleasures, the needs of this world. Mambo, the fame, the pride. Hallelujah. Ambazo watu wanapigania, watu wana wanataka kusikia wakiwa na sifa, watu wanataka kusikia wakiwa wanainuliwa, watu wanataka kusikia eh wao ndio wengine wanaongea juu yao. Mambo ya dunia imefanya watu mioyo yao isiwe na mahali ya mbegu kukua. Imemea lakini haiwezi kukua. Eh? it has been squeezed by the need for money. Hallelujah. The need for money is more than the need for that word. Yeah? Watu wanasumbuliwa. John chapter one, chapter one, uh, 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 first John chapter 1 verse uh, verse uh, uh, chapter 2 verse 15 the Bible says, "Brethren, do not love the word." Usipende nini? Kwa maana the love of this word is not from eh yeah? watu wanatafuta utajiri, watu wanataka Mambo makubwa watu wanataka majina makubwa eh hey, hayo mambo yamefanya mioyo ya watu isiweze kuzalisha chochote 
Hallelujah. Slow down, my friend. Slow down. Slow down from those issues and take time with God. Take time to look into your heart. Mwa magugu. Hallelujah. Magugu ambayo inazuilia moyo wako uwe uwe unaweza uh, kuwa kupokea mbegu. Magugu ambayo yanazuilia yana uweze kuzalisha chochote ndani yako. Ngoa magugu. Hallelujah. Ngoa Do not sow your seed upon the thorns among us the thorns. Ngoa thorns. Maana ukifanya hivyo miba itazuilia ile mimea yako kuendelea. It is going to choke them up. Till the ground shimbua vizuri. Let there be depth. Ngoa na utoe ile mizizi. Unajua utangoa na mizizi mingine imeachwa ikizishikilia kule. Fa eh 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 Piga faro the ground then tukua hii kila kitu kile ambacho akiwezi kuoza choma haleluya bana panda kwa shangari shangari na nepi ya grass haziwezi kufanya kitu ika, ikawa mzuri kule itazuilia kuendelea kwa hiyo bana apewe sifa you know jesus used Other stories to narrate spiritual issues. Bwana asifiwe. He is using none other things. Eh, asoa when to sow uh, 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 to sow seeds, yeah? It is another thing, but it is talking about spiritual matters. It is talking about the kingdom. It is talking about the condition of our hearts. Mambo ya mwili imekuwa ni miiba kwetu inatushonga. Hallelujah. Inatuzuilia sisi kukua. Mm, canality, fleshliness, eh, umwili. Tamaa nyingi mbaya. Chuki, hasila zimezuilia mioyo yetu kuwa na mahali pa neno la Mungu. And we need to deal with those issues brethren. Ambazo zimezuilia sisi kuzaa matunda ambayo yanafaa, yanapendeza Mungu na matunda ambayo yatadumu. We need to bear fruit. Hallelujah. We need to begin to bear fruit. Praise the Lord. Bwana apewe sifa. Matunda yanaoonekana ya zao kwa kila mwanadamu si kwa watu wengine na wengine wameachwa huu na uh-uh. it is for everybody <coughs> it is when we give for the fruit that we glorify god and jesus said because tunda utakaloza ama matunda utakayoyaza yatadumu ukiomba chochote utapoke ukiomba chochote uta does your bible say that Then if we are praying and we are not getting then we should go back and evaluate the fruit we are giving forth. Is it? It is we should go back and ask ourselves what kind of fruit are we bearing? Is the fruit remaining? Is it abiding? Yeah, is it abiding in a car? Ina inapendeza Mungu maana kama ile tunda tunaoza haridumu then we don't please our God we don't glorify him and therefore we can continue asking and never getting we can continue praying and praying you know people are very selfish with the prayers whenever time they go any time they go to pray they only talk about their needs their needs kayogedilikana ogedilikana mwadhani every time ni wewe mimi mimi jamii yangu mimi na jamii yangu but you know god expect you to give out you don't just give out in terms of material things you give out also in terms of prayer you pray for other people you pray for your nation you pray for the church you pray for preachers you you pray for others and by so doing you move you you, you at the end of the day you get more blessed Eh, than when you would have prayed about your needs. Hiyo mahitaji yako Mungu amekwambia give thanks you know things. Ama amesema nini? Give thanks you know good times bad times. Situations that are oppressing and depressing give thanks. Mambo ambayo hayatupendezi shukuru. Hallelujah. 
maana katika kushukuru e, Mungu akipokea shukurani hata tuacha namna hiyo haleluya apokea tu shukurani zako lazima kitu kitaendeke praise the lord yeah wimbo umesema we have come to give thanks eh? and of course apart from saying we have come to give thanks did you give thanks unajua kusema we have come to give thanks there is not giving thanks <laughs> there is come a saying and giving praise the lord we need to look evaluate the state of our soil the state of our hearts maana mioyo yetu ndio inaongelelewa haleluya hapo ndipo mbegu zinaanguka hapo ndipo mbegu inaitwa Yesu inaanguka hapo ndipo hiyo mbegu inaitwa Yesu inapandwa na hapo ndipo hiyo mbegu inaitwa Yesu inastahili kumea na kuzaa matunda wewe unazaa tunda la aina gani wewe unazalisha nini haleluya kama Yesu aliingia ndani ya moyo wako how much are you have you been transformed kama Yesu aliingia ndani yako na akaanza ikawa mbegu ikawa ile mbegu imeilianguka pale imekufa na ikaanza kumea a new seedling how much have you been transformed by that haleluya changes expected from you a transformation the newness of life it is expected from you hallelujah we need to make to prepare our ground we need to cultivate it properly we need to remove anything that will will share the nutrients of the from the soil with our with our crop we need to allow the light of the sun of god to uh, to, to 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 illuminate the soil maana the soil needs the sun hallelujah the soil needs the sun for the seed to germinate we need the water we need the air we need the sun do any of those things in your agriculture if they are not there then it won't germinate it is going to rot hallelujah and we need to allow the light of the son of god to illuminate our hearts praise the lord we need to need to, to 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 allow the holy spirit to to shower our heart with the living water the living water upon the heart so that our our cloth may begin to grow and may grow healthy hallelujah we need the nutrients of the word of god the nutrients of worship the nutrients of devotion the nutrients of fellowship in our hearts huo moyo huo udongo hauhitaji fertilizer na manyua ya ngombe na kuku inahitaji fertilizer inaoitwa neno la Mungu fertilizer inaitwa devotion fertilizer inaitwa worship fertilizer labda worship is for, for your feet and devotion is CAN hallelujah you require them if there is anything that is going to germinate and to grow and to continue growing until it bear fruit you need those things hallelujah without them my friend you will never give forth uh, anything nothing will come out of your heart maana kuna mambo ambayo yanaleta shida problem with us is the priorities that we have in life our actions our choices they make the difference that's why our 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 soil our gardens are bushy maana we never have priority of cultivating it of tearing it of of, of of cleaning everything that is un, uh, unwanted there we never have good uh, priorities can we begin by prioritizing in dealing with the issues of our hearts yeah making right choices that our hearts may may be able to receive eh, the good seed and germinate and continue to grow hallelujah yes wa yongea pia juu ya udongo ambao ambao ni udongo mzuri good soil arebo soil ph sawa eh ph ambayo ni optimum it's not acidic nor is it acarinity udongo ambao umewekwa mborea mzuri haleluya udongo ambao umechumbuliwa vizuri mbegu zikaanguka pale zikapandwa pale na zikamea the bible says some gave forth 100% a hundred fold not 100% a hundredfold ingine 60 ingine 30 do you see the variation that variation that is there 
The variation depends on the commitment of people. It's not that the soil was not good. Bwana asifiwe. Zote zilinyeshewa na mvua sawa because they are in the same shamba eh. Zilinyeshewa na mvua. Udongo uko na nutrients sawa. Mambo ambayo yako pare ni sawa. Lakini unaangalia unaona nyingine eh sisi tuko kwa ibada moja. <coughs> Sisi tuko kwa ibada moja, tuko kwa kanisa moja. All things are done the same uh, same way for everyone. But unakuta wengine wanainuka pale, wanaanza kuwa wahubiri. Wengine wanainuka pale, wanaanza kuwa waimbaji. Wengine wanainuka pale, wanakuwa waingilisti. Wengine wanainuka pale, wanakuwa viongozi wazuri. Wengine wako pale, they don't know uh, anything. Wanajua tu tuko hapa twende mbinguni. Same environment. The background is the same. Conditions are the same. Nothing wanting. But they are not making good move. They are, they are, their efforts are not the same. Bwana apewe sifa. Their efforts are not the same. They don't commit themselves to the things of God equally. Kuna mtu amejitolea kabisa kukiwa ni Jumapili ya yeah, kuwa hapa mapema anaendelea ibada zitaisha kiwa pale mna ataonekana hata lanchawa zote ataonekana hata midweek service ataonekana hata HBC ataonekana kwa mambo mengine wengine wakena wakienda maombo yako wengine wakienda mazishi yako how do you expect yourself to be equal with that person every morning he or she has time for devotion Every morning he has time to study the word. He has time to begin the day with God. He has time to call upon the name of the Lord. Jioni kabla mambo mengine ameakuwa na wakati wa kuambia Bwana ni asante. Umenilinda hiyo siku yote. Umeniongoza hiyo siku yote. Nimeona wema wako hiyo siku yote. How do you expect yourself? Wewe ambaye uko na wakati, utaomba wakati umestuka ama kwa sababu umestuka umesikia jambo ambalo limekustua? Watu wengine wanaombanga wakati mambo imewastua. Jambo limekuja, limewakumba ndio wakati huo wanasema, "Eh, tuombeni, tuombeni nimesikia, eh, corona imekuja." Wae, we, wacha tuombe. Hiyo kitu ni mbaya. Wacha tuombe. You don't expect my friend to give the same fruit with that other person. No. You will remain down utabaki pale chini kwa maana the time you give to God the time that you give to the things of God is very limited kile kiwango utapima nacho utapimiwa na hicho haleluya hawezi wanafunzi wako kwa darasa moja wako na walimu sawa the time is the same hakuna yule ambaye ananyang'anywa masaa but mmoja atapata A mwingine apate D Haleluya They had the same opportunities Haleluya Hakuna yule ambaye aliwekwa nje hivyo ndivyo ilivyo katika ufalme Unaona watu wengine wanainuka sana wengine wako pale pale chini wengine wako mahali wengine kuna viwango na hizi viwango si kwamba wamewekewa ni wao wamezipimia wenyewe Haleluya kwa maana they don't find time to commit themselves to 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 give themselves holy to the things of God. Hawataki kuwa na wakati ambao wanaweza kusema we are praying and fasting. No, fasting inafanya watu wakonde sana. Eh, hey, and we are mindful about our looks. Bwana apewe sifa. You mind if about your looks? Looks sitaisha maana ni za huu mwili na mwili utaoza sasa ni nini itabaki haleluya brethren we need to commit ourselves to the things of the kingdom mambo ambayo ni ya ufalme hmm? we need to commit ourselves to love others to care for others yeah to think good about others take time don't just think about yourself Don't think and don't just care about your family. Care about others too. These are nutrients that are required in this soil for the growth and bearing of fruit of the seed that has been put in you. My friends, we need to rise up. Hmm? We need to rise up. Maana 
kama udongo wetu hautabadilika mambo haitakuwa mzuri kwetu maana tunatarajiwa we are expected to give for the fruit haleluya what would you say is the condition of your soil my friend you are wondering ibada itaisha saa ngapi uende ukafungue biashara yako but let me tell you eh kuna wanafunga sunday na wanapata pesa nyingi kuliko ile wewe unafungua wanapata unapata haleluya why maana mungu anajua hiyo jumapili yao wamepea mungu so he causes them to harvest twice on saturday he told the children of israel on saturday you on sunday you are on sabbath you not correct anything but on friday eh on friday collect twice as much ile mtakula hiyo siku na mpaka siku ya sabbath god knows you need uh, you need you need to eat on that sunday yeah and so you will provide double portion the previous day hallelujah but because you don't trust god that's why you think in your uh, if you open on sunday you are going to be more profitable hallelujah bana <laughs> sifiwe injili sio rahisi sana haipembele zangi But let me tell you our god is attentive to our prayers he is listening to what you are saying about your heart the psalmist in psalm 26 verse 2 says he says what test me o oh lord bana sifiwe test my heart hallelujah And I think we can tell God like that. Test my heart today. Hmm? Try me. Examine my heart and my mind. Honest spirit. I think you can take time and tell God like that. Test me, O oh Lord, and try me. Examine my heart and my mind. Psalms 51 verse 10. Create me, create a new heart within me. Yeah? create a new heart for me renew a right spirit within me hallelujah we can take time and tell god like that yeah we can take time and allow the spirit of god to look into us na kujiuliza je tunazaa matunda ya aina gani eh matunda yale tunazaa ni matunda ya aina gani tunazaa ama zile mbegu zilianguka ndani ya mioyo yetu zilikauka zilioza nyingine zilikosa kuendelea what happened to the seed hallelujah what happened to the seed did it rot did it germinate if it germinated why is it not growing if it is growing why is it not bearing fruit god expect a fruit from you my dear sister my dear brother Hallelujah. Don't so much concentrate on your beauty. Ati mpaka unyoe eh manyoya ya 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 macho. Uweke wanza pale. You think so much about the lipstick. You think so much about how you look and how you walk. All those won't help you much without Jesus. Hallelujah. Another lady told me her husband never make her happy any time. And then I asked her, how do you expect a man to make you happy when God cannot make you happy? Mungu alikuombia usha uliona nywele kwa 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 jicho hapa la kuzuia uchafu usiingie. Wewe ukaona ah, Mungu hakufanya vizuri acha ningoe hiyo. Na una una unatarajia ati Mungu unatarajia mwanaume ambaye ameumbwa na Mungu akufurahishe. Anakufurahisha namna gani? Akakuumba ukiwa na nywele, unaenda unakatakata hizo ndio uchonelee ingine ambayo inaonekana kama ndio ndio nisio ilatigia. Amen. Stop that now. Look unto God. Call upon his name. Yeye pekee anaweza. He will make you happy. Atakutoshereza. Anajua hali yako, anajua mahitaji yako. Wewe unangangana mwanaume ukifikiria utajengea mke wako nyumba na nini God knows you need the house He will, he will do it at his own time not at yours Can you concentrate on pleasing God Hallelujah Na hata kama una shamba 
langata haijazaa watu Ati uji u, u, najiumiza sasa nitatoa shamba wapi sisi hata tutazikwa wapi langata is not for my friend na haijarishi utazikwa wapi hata ukitupwa huko umbwa zikule siku ya kiyama utafufuka kutoka kwa tumbo za umbwa think about god make your relationship go- good with god hallelujah he alone, he alone matters in your life he alone will take care of you praise the lord can you stand up and tell god to test your heart to test you to look into your heart to see how you are god expects us to bear fruit and not just one person not a certain category of people but every one of us is expected to bear fruit what is the kind what is the situation what is the state of the soil in you the sower we have said the sower is god na anaangalia huo udongo ambaye anakuja kupanda hiyo mbegu yake je udongo wako umetayarisha ndio aweze kupanda mbegu pale udongo wako uko namna gani praise the lord Praise the Lord. Funga macho yako. Focus on God. Tell him to search your heart. Illuminate your heart with his Holy Spirit. Look into that heart. Angalia hali ya huo moyo. Angalia ufananisha na udongo. Uone ni nini ambayo iko katika huo moyo ambayo kama ingalikuwa kwa udongo, huo udongo haungali mea chochote huo udongo haungalizaa chochote huo udongo haungalifaa chochote na kama kuna kitu cha aina hiyo iwe ni machengenyo iwe ni time you don't give god iwe ni cares and worries of this world iwe ni love of many things the places the parties the relationships the friends maana unataka kufurahisha kila mtu my friend kama mungu hawezi kuwafurahisha hakuna wewe hawezi kuwafurahisha friends want to be with them every time my friend i can assure you being a with friends all the time means that you'll never give for the fruit you'll never please god at any time you want to have relationship with the word you want the pleasures of this world my friend all those things they have an end but your relationship with god is eternal is forever never maana hiyo ndio itakubewa hata kutoka duniani hiyo relationship yako na mungu ndio mungu inapendeza mungu ndio inafanya wewe uzae matunda ndio inafanya mungu aweze kujima maombi yako ndio inafanya wewe weze kuwa mshindi look at your relationship with god oh my god kozande bazaya lekade mazande lelelele bosa my god ibo yendelele mazaya la mazakara babori andelelele oh zelelele babori andele mama mazaya my god my god oh king of glory wewe uona sireni bwana wewe ujuae hali ya mioyo bwana wa jam my father my god i stand before you Lord. oh king of glory java god and where come your king of glory into my heart say make us such your king of glory my father for there is nothing that is said from you moyo wangu uko wazi mbele zako moyo wapendwa iko wazi mbele zako chunguza bwana chunguza bwana angalia bwana ari ya moyo wetu bwana wacha angalia bwana chochote ndani ambacho kinazoeria bwana mbegu kumea <coughs> ambacho kinazoiria bwana mbego bwana kupata mizizi bwana wacha that which makes oh my god our hearts to be like a path which oh my god that which makes our hearts oh my god to be like a rock and soil my god that which makes our hearts oh my god to be the soil where there are zones oh my god and bless us oh king of glory and the kings of our father that which makes our hearts oh my god not to give for oh my god a hundred for my god my god in tarabai and lilili mazaya My Lord, my God, oh, such a king of glory, by the power of your Holy Spirit, by the power of your Holy Spirit, angaria bwana, angaria bwana, kuriande mazaka yanda, na mazaka rababoria, yandelelelelele, oh, rimazanda, na mazaka yande, my God, such a my God, we 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 na sereni bwana, angaria baba, ona mieto bwana wajabu jaba, angaria watu wa komongo cha, tona nyenye kiambere zako. In your merit, my God, we come before you, Lord. In your merit, my God, Java God, we bow before you. Oh, my God, my God. 
chongoza bwana chongoza bwana chongoza bwana chongoza bwana atuweze bwana bila wewe Jehovah atuweze bwana wacha faila suya we come to you my god king of glory and killing us we are my god we come to you my father my god let us we are Jehovah god and fear for us we are my god oh king of glory back in my tears oh my god and go say pass our father we bring ourselves my god and you bwana wewe unaweza kutuosha unaweza kutusamea bwana wacha my god my god bwana unaweza jaba ka sisi ambao tumepewa bwana na ndunia bwana mungu acha na mambo ya ndunia hiyo mungu acha twaja kwako baba oh my god tope ule jesho tope ule jesho baba tope ule jesho baba tope ule jesho bwana tope ule jesho bwana tope ule jesho bwana my god my god hatuwezi bwana wacha only you my god is the king of glory wewe peke bwana wacha wewe ndiye uchunguzae mioyo bwana uchunguzae udongo huu bwana wacha ujua hali ya huyo udongo bwana wacha wewe mpanzi wa mbegu bwana unajua hali ya mchanga wako bwana my god that the other hand maladi is it ya ndere madaya saya lakadema ya ndere masika yada lakazaba ya ndoro bore kantara maseria todekere kandoro kose bayada lakade ndelebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebeb
We are before your door. We are before your door. And your matter will come before you. And your matter will bow before you. Oh, such a watch now. Such a watch now. Such a watch now. Lord, we are going to shout. Chongo Zabuana. Chongo Zabuana. Chocho Tiamba Choki Metu Tanganisa. Chocho Tiamba Choki Metu Zuiria. Chocho Tiamba Choki Na Zuiria Buana. Oh, my God, my God. Yako, Yadere Kandani at Banavacha, Matunda on a Kanabanavacha, Bana Mugami Lele, Tonaki Kata, Tonaki Tobo, Tonaki Yacha. Oh my God, Abu Santosi Kayande, Limaza Kayande, Limazaya, Rakaze Baburiande, Muziki, Zekatoma Yande, Mayada Mazia. For when your fire, my God, is burning with us, we shall make a different king of glory. Take over, my God. Now, Tawara Bana, Mana, we're ready to move. Tuna Kuna Bana, Tuna Kusuzuru, Kama and Abana Mugaja, we were Menena, Nanana Lako in Anguana, we're Tabana, Tomba Bana, the Tender Kazi, Katika Mashaya to Bana, Kela Moja to Bana, Katika Bana Mugamilele, Sanchore Bana, Tuna Pitazi, Hello Neno, the Tender Kazi, Quajeria to Kufuako, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray. Labda kuna mtu anasema ni kweli nimekuwa kwa ibada lakini sijatoa maisha yangu kwa Yesu. Haujaanza hii safari. Jesus loves you. Jesus cares for you. If you are there and you say I need Jesus in my life. I need the touch of Jesus in me. I need the power of Jesus in me. I need to begin the work of life. Jesus is here. Do we have somebody we saying like that? Who says Jesus I need you in my life. We would want to pray with such one. Hakuna haja uendele kusumburiwa na satan. Hakuna haja uendele kuteswa na mambo ya kila aina. Jesus loves you and he cares for you. Do we have somebody in the balcony there? Do we have somebody we're saying here, I need Jesus in my life? We don't have somebody. Down here, we don't have somebody. With the peace of God, we be with you. And may grace be multiplied upon you. May he watch over your lives. And may the power of your soul and spirit continue to work in your life. To transform you. To cause the godly fruit to begin to manifest in your life. From now, henceforth, in Jesus' name.